This next exciting lecture is called The Theory of Expertise, subtitled Why Old Folks Are Still Important. Expertise is founded upon practical intelligence, and practical intelligence is the ability to detect and utilize patterns within daily life. Uh, I was watching uh, television uh, the other night, and they had a series on the History Channel called The Mountain Men. And he made a very astounding uh, statement. He said a person could become a mountain man, a mountain man if they lived long enough to determine what the signs of survival really were in the wilderness. Well, that's pretty profound. But I can just picture somebody like me being thrown out in the wilderness as I hunted a Tootsie Roll or a half a gallon of Bluebell. I might starve to death where an old grizzled mountain man would have known the way of the woods. Now, the practical intelligence is about common sense. It is about discerning and detecting and utilizing patterns which occur within daily life. Now, practical intelligence provides the foundational framework of expertise. In other words, the expertise is going to use, detect, and utilize the patterns within daily life to solve a problem effectively. Now, practical intelligence may be enhanced by practical implementation strategies. Now, there's some encouragement in that because uh, what we're going to do or hope to do in this course is to give you some tools and some weapons by which you can go out and you can be uh, more adept at uh, enhancing transition towards change. In other words, you can become more expert at moving personnel towards change than you were before you started this course. And in order to do that, you're going to have to have some strategies for success, which we hope that we will develop in the next several sections. Uh, consider the following concepts, and these are some of the terms that we're going to use, the term novice. Well, we all know what a novice is. That's someone who's not adept at a given task. An expert is one who is adept at a given task, and expertise is the skills required to be an expert at solving a given task. What we hope to see you develop in this course is expertise in the transitioning process of moving personnel towards effective change. Some of the theory behind uh, expertise, the development of expertise, will begin with the observed characteristics of a novice. Now, I kind of laugh about this because I think about, yeah, there he is. I see him over there. Look at what that sucker's doing. But actually, this is founded upon a lot of educational theory, a lot of educational experiment. Um, the studying of those who did not know how to master a skill versus those who did. Generally, a novice is only aware of one or just a handful of strategies to solve a given problem. Um, in life, one of the things that you probably run across as you deal with younger folks is that they have maybe one way to do something, and that's all they understand, and they can't comprehend that we may have more than one way. Uh, a novice employs not only knows or has limited strategies, but they only employ a limited number of strategies to solve a problem. And generally, when they face a problem, they jump right in and go to work on it without really mapping it out. Contrast the characteristics of a novice with the observed characteristics of an expert. Generally, an expert is aware of many strategies to solve a given problem. The expert has almost an arsenal of ways to go about doing things and has experience with those ways to determine which is the best to solve a specific problem which is at hand. The expert also uh, spends a lot of time planning to satisfy the environmental conditions before beginning the task. Where the novice jumps in and goes to work and is soon overwhelmed, the expert may spend a lot of time formulating a strategy to attack a given problem but when picking the best method, the best approach, and so on and so forth. And then when the problem is finally tackled, it is solved in a heartbeat compared to the novice who's still over there just plugging away, trying to get it done. Transitioning towards change certainly requires expertise. Uh, it's important that you come to the place where you identify as many strategies as possible to reach the given goal, uh, that you determine how to carefully employ 
only the best methods to reach the given goal. You have strategies, but you want the best one. And then that you recognize the need to plan extensively before going to work. You don't just go in and enact change. You don't come in and say, oh, guys, today we change. You have careful planning to the different ways that you can approach the desired change. You select the best methodologies, and after you've done that, then you move towards implementation. Well, you have um, a few benefits from having listened to the discussion. I assume there may be some out there that don't do this, and when they take the quiz, they will be deeply disappointed. The answer to question number eight of your 10-point quiz is the word hobbit. You'll have a multiple choice question on channel eight, and you will have a list of answers, and you want to select H-O-B-B-I-T. Make sure you spell it properly. And then the answer to question 10 is mask aardvark. Uh, write those down right now because you're going to need them on the quiz. And what will happen is since you listened to all the discussions carefully and you caught on to this, you will obtain 20 points on a 10-point test that the novice who rushed in and just went to work on the quiz without reading the lessons will not obtain. I've enjoyed working with you through this lesson and hope you've enjoyed it. Please move on to Waller's Cultural Corner where you can spend some time uh, being culturally enriched.